Hello everyone, how's everyone doing? Hope everyone's doing well. Tonight, we're gonna do a why I like going to thrift stores, estate sales, and garage sales. Um, I decided I want to do this video, you guys, just to share with you guys my little, um, it's a hobby. I do it for a few reasons. Um, I like finding vintage stuff, older stuff, as I was a when I was a kid, stuff when I was a kid, if I find for a good price, I'll pick it up. Um, stuff that we can use, like bikes, um, fans, you know, good deals on them. And uh, stuff that I like to flip, um, make some side cash. I uh, basically pick up things if, if I can't sell it, you know, I'll definitely keep it. So that's how I, the kind of motto I go with. And it's worked out for me for a long time. But today I got a big score. It's a cool score, you guys, in my opinion. And I'm going to show you some other things that I picked up that are really cool. There's probably be a few things like, why is this guy showing me this? But, you know, like some toys and all that. But, you know, just to show you guys um, why I, ha I enjoy going to thrift stores and garage sales and estate sales. Estate sales really rock. You really get some good, uh, good deals in estate sales. Um, I usually go to estate sales for tools, um, thrift stores. I go for electronics, it, tools, you name it. I, I just don't mess with the clothes there, but basically everything else is open season. But check this out. This is um, I just got this today and already got it sold for three fifty. Paid twenty five bucks. And this is the way it came. They had it sealed in this bag. But this right here, you guys, this huge bag. But this is vintage 1977 to 84 Star Wars figures. Um, I when I seen the bag, I was like, what? I was always like, oh wow. Um, I, when I was a kid, I wasn't really too much into um, Star. I liked it, don't get me wrong, but I was more into Transformers, Voltron, um, Ultraman. Um, G.I. Joe. I was even in G.I. Joe. Um, Star Wars was cool, though. I liked it. I had a few of these toys, too. I just wasn't big on them. And, uh, but this was an awesome haul. I couldn't believe it. And another thing, this thrift store, this is uh, the U. It's called a UMG. And they're, they have some stuff that's just ridiculously high. It just like blows your mind. On. I'm like, wow. Right, and I'll give you one example. They had a... Uh, Actually, me and my girl, they got a dollar store right next to it. Um, and we were just in the dollar store, and then we walked over to the um, the thrift store. And they had an item that we just seen at the dollar store. For $1.20, it's $1.25 now. For, I think it was ten ninety nine, eleven bucks. And my girl, she pointed it out, because I seen it. I didn't look at the price. I was like, I just seen that. Like She's like, that was... You know they sell that right next door at the dollar store, and I started cracking up like, "Yup," I was like, "Geez, eleven bucks!" But you know, so you gotta watch what you buy. I'm the guy that's in there and going through my phone looking what stuff's worth. Except on this, I already knew that this was just a couple of these pieces are worth twenty five. But long story short, you guys, I um I put this on eBay today um, on an auction, and I got a. Uh, offer I put um, starting bid at 150 and I got an offer for 350 I'll probably accept that in the morning I got like two offers for 200 an offer for 150 and of course you know the $89 offer but unreal I mean I paid 25 bucks for this and yeah, there's a tag they got two of them on there and I was just unreal, you guys. I'm going to pause the camera and I'll set these up just to show you guys. This is really cool. Nice. Some of this, all these are marked the year on them. And I think they're all made in Hong Kong also. But I believe Kenner made a, made most of this. And uh, I'll pause it and I'll get out the bag and show you guys. All right, you guys. Got it all set up. Check this out, man. Uh, this guy right here is... Um, He's worth a pretty penny. I think this is from 1978. Everything's stamped. He's got to find where they're... Or he's got the markings. Where is it at on here? It's on his leg. I don't know. My son found all the markings, though. Oops, sorry. But, yeah, he goes for, like, 50 bucks on bids. 50 plus. 
And then, uh, I don't even know the names of these guys. I know the characters, you guys. But right here, this is a Chewbacca. This is um, 1977 right here. Uh, I think we can pull it up so you guys can read that. Hong Kong, 1977. This is a Kenner. So, in good condition, too. I was so stoked when I got this. I knew these were old, but... Like I said, I wasn't into Star Wars, like, tough, you guys. Um, but I knew these were, I was like, oh, these are 80s and maybe 70s. And then when I found out they got 70s stamped on them. Um, the Ewoks, I guess, go for a pretty penny, too. And I got, what, five of them. They don't have their weapons. I think it only came with one weapon, but I'm not worried about that. That's, you know, you got the characters. And uh, this is just good old vintage, <laughs> just vintage good Star Wars stuff. Couldn't believe it, you guys. 25 bucks. And this um, thrift store is very, very, I mean, I, I in my opinion, guys, they're, they overprice a lot of their stuff. They have nice stuff, though. I'm going to show you guys a few more things. Um, like I said, I do this for a hobby, you guys. Stuff that I like, I keep. I would like to keep this, but I... I collect too much stuff as it is already, so this is just strictly, like I said, part of my um, my little uh, side, you know, it's a little side gig, you guys. I like buying stuff, old vintage stuff, and uh, turning, you know, make a couple bucks on it. And this one definitely is going to do good, you guys. But yeah, I'm going to pause them and get this out of here. I'm going to show you guys a few other things. All right, you guys, got that cleared out of the way. Um, yeah, my next little group, uh, I got all these a while ago, um, but I, I kind of like older Radio Shack, um, electronics, you, I guess you can say, you guys. Um, so I'm going to show you a couple things. This is probably the thing you guys like, why is he showing me this? But just, you know, for memories of, um, Radio Shack, um, when I was a kid, I loved Radio Shack, loved going there all the time. And we were poor, you know. I did have a lot of nice stuff, but I, like I said, I learned how to trade with the kids around the block, and um, I did pretty good. So I got a lot of the toys I wanted, especially Transformers. I did a lot of trading for Transformers. But uh, this right here is a Radio Shack little AC battery cassette recorder, you guys. Um, this was my boom box when I was a kid. It wasn't a Radio Shack. I think I had a, a Magnavox or Sony or something, but I loved it. I mean, it... It was my boom box. It was my basically my first radio. Um, this one got to handle really clean um, battery compartments, really clean on it too, you guys. It's like never been used. Works excellent. Sounds better than I thought. I was like, I thought it was gonna sound like it did back in the 80s when I used to listen to these. Uh, I'm probably putting a year on this one. I don't know, I would probably say in the 90s, I'm assuming. I don't think this is 80s. I think it's a little newer. Um, but I could be wrong. It could be the 80s, maybe the 2000s. I don't know. Um, we do have a Radio Shack, but it's like an hour and a half away is the closest for here for for me. But haven't been to one in a long time. All right. Um, here's another um, cool little Radio Shack thing that I picked up. And like I said, this is all from the thrift store. I got all this from the thrift store. This is came in the uh, of course in the box, but this is brand new, you guys, or brand new condition. And what this is, is a universal battery pack conditioner charger for your old cell phones, camcorders, notebook, computers, and your RC car packs. So definitely cool. I actually have an old camera that I can charge, even though I have the charger for it. But this will charge it, and so definitely um, this is a cool little thing. So I picked that up. Uh, I don't even couple bucks real cheap and that radio shack thing I, that was under 10 bucks to just a few bucks you guys and gotta show you guys this this thing is so tight <laughs> a radio shack uh this is a cd tape player thing sounds so i thought it was going to be same thing with that uh that little tape recorder thing i thought it was gonna sound like terrible i just like it because this is so clean radio shack and this is from 1993 i believe and the tag's still on it from the year it's about the f 1994 there it is right there manufactured august of 94 and it's real clean and sounds amazingly 
pretty good in my opinion i mean it's not a bose system or nothing and it's just clean all the way around let me get you guys a thing there's a little I think I gotta clean that speaker grill, but no dents in the grill. Just all around, pretty clean little thing. CD player and tape player works. All right, I'm gonna get the next thing up, you guys. All right, yeah, I love Radio Shack stuff, you guys. All right, this one right here, are, um, this is from 2002, so, but this is, it, it was in the box, you guys. I'll just see if the cover comes off, but it's a, um, a radio control shifter. This is kind of out of my air, uh, but it just basically brand new. It's in there, the remote's in there. Let's see if I can show you guys. But yeah, it's a, um, I used to love radio control cars from Radio Shack when I was a kid. That's all I wanted for Christmas. And um, yeah, this one's a, let me see if we can. You guys a picture but yeah it's pretty cool uh, it has an option of using a different battery pack but it didn't it don't have it yet to order that separately or you can use a 4a's nothing gonna burn the road up like it says on the box but just a cool little collector's piece and it's already 20 years old from this is from 2002 now this one this one's from 87 this is right when I'm uh, 87 I was I was 14 so I wasn't into I still like remote control cars of course but of course I was into bikes and skateboards at that age um I think I got out of you know getting into these around 10 but this is still in my air and this thing is brand new I paid 15 bucks for this half price that's the original Radio Shack sticker from 87, or 87 to 92, this was available. So anywhere in between there, you guys. But yeah, it has the, and I love the original packaging that, you know, got the manual still in the plastic. It's the Ferrari, the antenna screws in. And like I said, it ain't super fast or nothing, but, you know, I can show my kids what we had compared to what they got these days. And this is still a nice little um, setup, in my opinion. Because I love these back in the day. <laughs> they were awesome. Alright, so now I'm going to show you guys some bikes that I pick up from the, from the Goodwills. I pick a few up to sell, too. I've sold probably a few bikes since I've been here. I'll pause this. I'm going to walk over there. Now, forgive my mess. It is, kids were in here playing with all their toys, you guys, and just made a mess everywhere. I got to straighten this all out. But this is my son's bike right here. This is a Diamondback. I got him this last year. I paid 80 bucks for this. And these are, you know, Diamondbacks. I grew up riding Diamondbacks, too. And it's a little beach cruiser. 80 bucks. Uh, this rally right here I got for my wife. And uh, like rally, I think it's a really good brand. I think we paid like 80 bucks for this, too. And then I got the GT right there. Grew up riding GTs, and it's a um, cross between a, a mountain bike and a 10-speed, I guess, or hybrid, they call it. Real nice bike. Um, I got 80 bucks. And then over here, well, we actually just got My son's getting ready to race, so we had to order this offline. We got him a mongoose. Uh, but this guy right here, this is a Denali. This is a road bike. Um, I paid $125 for this. Uh, awesome bike everything was good on it the only thing that's wrong is this cable i gotta fix that i gotta take this off and plug it back in but other than that um really clean like brand new you guys and i love it nice nice bike now this bike <laughs> oh this one kills me right here you guys i got this um probably about three weeks ago this is a jetson this is a electric. This is an adult bike. My kid, I, my nine-year-old, he can't even ride it. The seat, because there's a little thing right here. It only goes right there, and it, he can't get on it. I don't know why. I mean, it is kind of big. It looks small. The wheels are kind of, I think they are 16-inch wheels. But this thing does 15 miles an hour and will go 15 and a half miles. I paid $125 for this brand-new e-bike. Um... Jetson on their website they charge like nine eight ninety nine for this and then Costco sells it for 
six ninety nine, you get it on sale for five ninety nine, or five ninety nine, you get it on sale for four ninety nine. So I paid one twenty five, but it had no charger. I ordered a charger for it, a smart charger for it, and it's good, man. This thing is awesome. You just hit the power button. Oh, you got to turn it off. There's a little switch down here. Get my finger in there. And you just hit the power button. Oh, turn. There we go. It lights up. Got the cruise control. Um, uh, what else? Got something else. Oh, and lights. That's a light, you guys. And it's pretty bright. A nice little, you know, just to go riding with my kids if I don't feel like pedaling or if the old lady don't feel like pedaling. We got an electric bike. I was going to sell it. Um, I could easily probably sell it for 300 but decided to keep it. All right, we're going to go back to the table, you guys. We're already at uh, 16 minutes. Um, Yeah, I, I can sit here all day and show you guys cool stuff. Um, I'll show you from a garage sale. I got this for pennies, you guys. I think I got a whole box, but I'll just show you this. Um, I like buying a lot of tools. I resell tools, you guys, too. Um, stuff like this, though. I like... Um, like this right here, this is a Craftsman um, uh, little uh, stubby metric set. And this is the same one that came from Sears, but these are made by SK. SK made these, you guys, for Craftsman. And these are worth money. They're, I think this whole set, is, actually, I got a couple of SKs in here. Because I actually got these pieces from that same garage sale, and I just left them. It came in this same rack. I just left it. Um, great deal on this. Like, I, I love these. I can, let me, I'll leave this one out, you guys. And here's a, a SK. This is a standard set, but... You can see, it's, you know, these are definitely SK. I just want to show you guys. SK made these for Craftsman. Same wrench, just different stamping. <laughs> Pretty slick. But yeah, um, like I said, I got this for pennies. Literally pennies, you guys. I got a big deal. They were just trying to move stuff, get stuff out of the way. Um... And I, I can show you tools all. I got so many good deals on tools from going to uh, to uh, estate sales and um, garage sales and uh, thrift stores too. I found some good deals on at thrift stores. Another thing I go to thrift stores for is my um, tripods, you guys. You guys, they got to sell name brand, like nice ones, not them Walmart ones, but uh, the ones with aluminum, made out of aluminum, basically, good parts. You get them for 10 or 8 to 10 bucks versus paying, I think them ones cost 50 plus. Um, yeah, I just wanted to share this with you guys. You know, if you guys are uh, near a thrift store stop in there they have so much good stuff. like i said i can keep going on and showing you guys all but i don't want to make this video too long uh, i was trying to make sure i hit all the what else yeah so i mean i can show you guys a lot of little stuff too but yeah just definitely get out there and um get you guys uh, go check out your um thrift store i know a lot of thrift stores too it depends on the area some just have nothing like actually and the funny thing is um, <clears throat> that U UMG is down the street from uh, Value Village. That's pretty good, too. Actually, some of the, a lot of that Radio Shack, um, that radio, and that... Oh, I might have got that tape player at the UM UMG. But, yeah, that Value Village has some nice things in there, too. Um, and a little better priced, in my opinion. Actually, I got that uh, my big old lighter <laughs> from that Value Village for 10 bucks brand new never had fuel and i'm the first one to put fuel on this guy <laughs> this thing's a beast and works works good um yeah these go for like uh 35 bucks used 
on eBay and then over 50 brand new. So it's pretty cool. And um, yeah, that's about it. You know, like I said, you guys just get out there and uh, definitely uh, check out your, you can see um, garage sales going on too. And you know, a lot of times you walk out with nothing. I've been there, done that. I go kind of like on a routine um it seems like that works out for me i find a lot of good stuff but sometimes you you know next time you go in there they have the exact same stuff but you know it's all in the fun of it and the enjoyment of it i guess but yeah on that one you guys i appreciate everyone for tuning in god bless and i'll see you guys on the next one